All right, welcome to Smokey Approved Korea. I'm your boy, Journalist, and on this one, we are here to check out Stray Kids. Uh, this is God's Menu. This is from the title out of the three I got given. They have another one. I can't remember the title, but this was, I was like, it's provocative. I like that name. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to check this out. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Uh, I know you guys have been asking me to check these boys out, say they have pretty good music. I believe they're all self-produced and handpicked by whoever the particular leader is. Uh, we can watch like an explainer or something later. I just want to kind of check the music out. So thank you guys for joining me. Please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description, and let's get into this. I went the wrong way. <laughs> I always forget I don't fucking speak Korean. I need fucking <laughs> I need fucking subs. See this I don't even I don't understand the meaning of nothing they're talking about, but the production and the way they're singing makes this just like they're doing in the video, it'd be great to dance to this song. But this would not probably be something I would listen to because I don't like the hell are they talking about? They was talking about magpies and crows a moment ago. Then they was talking about taste and I, I don't know particularly there's a lot of um I feel like cultural nuance that makes it hard for, even though I can read the words for understanding, they just, they have no meaning because the translation is as good as it'll get, but it can't directly properly translate what they're trying to say. So I feel like there's like a lost in translation of meaning to the song. <laughs> I like that switch between the rapper, like the rapper's low tone, and then that ooh, like that shit sounds good. Like it all sounds really good, but I, I don't know. And is God's menu supposed to just be like a, a, a dope ass way to say life? Cause that's like actually hard as fuck though. Yeah, I like this part of the song. It's a great harmony. See, yeah, see, I like the do 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 part too. But this part right here coming up, that shit sound hard. Drag him, drag him, drag him, yeah. Okay.
did they have female dancers or are they all dressed up like girls and did the dance routine still? This was well performed. I also feel like it strays too close. Pardon the what's it called? The pun. No pun intended. Um, to to like, I think it's called noise. Like, or at least like that's the genre of like music. It like would be considered because I just feel like we're one drop away from dropping into, yeah, baby, I'm worth it. Dun, 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 dun. But like they do a do 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 instead of going full noise music, and that's also probably why I feel a disconnect. However, if this is their logo. That should look hard. That's a hard logo. Came through the back, but we left out the front. Okay. I don't understand this messaging yet because I don't kind of understand the ethos of the group. Like, the name seems to to kind of implement or suggest the idea that, like, they are, like, the outcast or the ones that are deemed to be other or lesser, and they want to be the voice for those people and kind of, like, kind of lift them up. That's kind of what I feel from the name and, like, the energy off of this particular record. Overall, the record's well-produced. It sounds a little kitschy in spots. Overall, it's really well done. Everybody's vocals sound really good. This is my first interaction. Uh, it's not what I expected for a song called God's Menu, and I still, at the end of all of it, I don't know what the hell they're fucking actually talking about. Again, I just I feel like I'm missing some culture or uh, understanding. Uh, are we just... I don't particularly have the time today, so I'll just ask the question now, and then in the future, I'll know to use it. One second. Come on in, my boy. All right, sorry about that. We have a, a issue going on in the flat. Uh, we need a repairman uh, to come in and fix something, and they just text the homie like, yo, so rate the repair that just happened in your house. So he came in, he was kind of upset, like, yo, somebody fucking fixing this shit right now. It's like, nah, bro, <laughs> nobody's in here yet. It's just me. But uh, yeah, the question I was gonna ask is: can, Is there a like a dulcet for fucking stray kids, or like dulcet does other people besides BTS? I don't know, but uh, I feel like I'm missing something from this song. So if I could get that somehow, that'd be really good. Uh, thank you guys very much for joining me. I would say song is good, not for me. If I have to rate it because of a lot of the production and just it just not being my particular alley or i wouldn't play it again i gotta give it like a for me i'm gonna say it's like a 7.5 a 7 how other people hear it though that are probably more uh used to this genre or like this genre of music it's for sure like an 8.59 for them like it's probably really up there for them and i'm just like hey i respect it it's just i it didn't tick all the boxes for me i wouldn't listen to it again but that do 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 that shit is stuck in my head uh and then that part where it slows down, like, that's a really good, like, harmony section. I really like that. But, yeah, there's a lot of pieces I like, but overall, it's not for me. But, uh, yeah, we'll check out some more Stray Kids, see what we get, see if we like any anything else from them or what they have. Thank you for joining me. Please hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description. See you on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.